How many of you guys remember this map? It's long range from BT5. There weren't a whole lot of recreations of it on the map browser, so I picked the closest one that, well, resembles it. We're going to give it a go on chimps mode, and I want to showcase a strategy with a tower that I don't normally use. I think this is the perfect map for it, and I'm talking about the bottom path beast handler, the golden eagle specifically. I guess I've been kind of been sleeping on it. It's received some buffs in previous updates, so I figure we ought to give it a real shot now. Now, how do I beat round six on this map? Well, for one, I would do a dart, a sniper start, but here's the problem. You can't, you can't support the sniper with anything. And I don't think I can start with a 001 beast either, because it's simply not strong enough. Unless we somehow change the reticle so that the bird doesn't fly as far. So like I don't want I, I want to maximize damage. I don't worry about the knockback. But you see it's still way too way too close or way too, way too bad. I'm trying to find the closest a dart monkey could be placed to the track. I don't think it's even close though. Let's see if I can even afford long range in time. Nope, I can't. This map is actually impossible on chimps. That's kind of surprising, because this is only an advanced map. But I guess that, well, giant gap destroys everything, every possible round 6 strategy. It seems like only Quincy has enough range, but there's still a problem. He's only able to see one part of the track, so I doubt this works. Let's see, though. Oh, one balloon off. Maybe, maybe. Nope, not happening. He can't see the right side. It's only one or the other. All right, hold up, guys. New discovery. I can drop a glue gunner, but it doesn't do damage, so... Yep, I think I can confirm round 6 is impossible on this map. I think I found the answer, and that is to play another BTT5 long-range map. This one was actually verified on chimps, so it is definitely possible, even though 0 out of 24 players would be in it. And that's probably because the available track dips a lot lower, so I think Quincy in this spot can work. Yep, he can see both sides, so we'll just uh, make sure to be, like, this time around, so strong... Back on first, and snipe, nice. So if I can beat round seven here, we can get a sniper, and that is all she wrote. Now we can actually begin the chimps run. So my inspiration for trying out the bottom path beast, or rather the golden eagle, was because of the unofficial chimps tier list made by, uh, I guess, good players of the community. These are players who can beat chimps mode on extra maps with their eyes closed while doing a handstand. They're pretty nutty. So I think they have a good idea of what is good and what's not. And on the tier list, uh, they put the Bonapath Beast in S tier. And on their explanation page, they explain why the beast is so good. And uh, look at look here. The Golden Eagle requires Max Merch to do much of anything. But it's fast attack speed makes it better than Condor against Sarams and Moab. So only go for Max Merge, 24 out of 24. As for the other stuff like Condor and Beyond, they also have explanations for. Namely, uh, apparently you only need... Uh, let me just snipe that balloon. You only need 29 power for it to actually be good. So maybe not a max merge condor, like I assumed it would be. It appears I also need more stuff this round, so I think I'll just upgrade to my horned owl. Should be able to blow more stuff back and thus speed the round. Is that right? Uh, it's a bit leaky. It's a bit leaky. Again, I should just focus the 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 uh, the bird here to do damage rather than knocking back. So just putting the reticle here means it'll, I think it'll maximize damage. Anyways, I'm struggling to these pinks here. Come on, Quincy. <sighs> yup, this is this is what this is what Quincy is great for, guys. Letting balloons get past his bow. Forget, I think just to get us through the early game, let's drop a 0, zero, zero mortar. This, I guess, also helps for leads, although I already have this, but I love the two damage mortar now. It's fun. And has global range. And I guess it's okay enough in this band. I think that ought to do it. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, right now I feel like the horned owl. Well, it's kind of bad. That's why I'm going to merge it. So the thing is, I definitely want to get intel on it. Basically, uh, you want to link the ranges of two different beast handlers. I'm also dead this round, so I definitely need to uh, go for another beast. So let me just test here. Needs track. See, if this is the problem. I'm pretty sure the only way to fix that is to get a village, but there's no money for that right now. So I guess I'll just work on just merging this into this and then slowly gaining power on the beast. I don't know, let's try Rapid Reload. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Nope, it's over. Okay, I just restart all over. And the new plan is simply do not buy Horned Owl. And in fact, don't even buy the Mortar. I think Darling Gun is way better. Global range, straight line action. Should be able to clean up stuff and... I guess we'll see something else that can build, like... Helps us in the early game. 
like legit just a powerful dart should just destroy it every single round here. So now we can focus on my my beasts. Before anything else, you guys know it. Dartling gun allows me to do the following. Hopefully it doesn't kill me later. And since I can't place beasts over here yet, I'll just go ahead and get another one. To increase the intel range a little bit and get a discount on my uh, Horned Owl, which I think I'll merge to 6 out of 6 right now. I don't have a lot of experience with the Max Merge Horned Owl, but I know if the Adasaurus and Max Merge Barracuda is good, surely this one's got to be solid too. And I think so far it does pass the eye test. It's holding off pretty well, though I can't tell if that's just Quincy. No, it's holding off pretty well. These decent damage, it seems. Like, 11 per uh, swipe or whatever you want to call it. Shall we Golden Eagle now? Yep. Let's do it. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get a max merge Golden Eagle by round 40. So we have to get something to beat the Mobler. But if we beat the Mobler, then we can easily shred through the inside. Because it'll just, you know, carry everything backwards. That's the beauty of the Bonpath Beast. Again, just focusing on the Golden Eagle damage here. That's all. Reticle in the very back. Not even worry about the knockback. Uh, Quincy ability. Hopefully I don't need it for round 39. I can tell this round's gonna be a pain. Uh, come on, Golden Eagle. You got this, you got this. All right. Three and a half thousand dollars into round 40. We have the Quincy ability up again. Can we pop the lair? That's all we need. Unfortunately, we need to probably get Alpha off or something else. Let's see. Do we just say screw it and Alpha off the Darling first? Because I guess if it has global range, that would be the one. Let's try again. I don't know if its inaccuracy is going to kill us here. I think it might. Yeah, not enough damage still. Okay, let's out of Quincy. And let's see if that does anything. Or we could actually spend 500 on the uh, um, this one. The air was doing triple damage, but... This looks like it'll pop. Oh, it looks just a little bit too late. Wait, 320, 320. Let's try this again. 320 is goaded. Yep. Nice, nice. No need to spend 500 there. So now that we got Alpha of Quincy, we are in the clear to do another discount village here. And then watch this. Track, and then I can merge into this one, and yep. The range touches, so now the eagle can go that far. However, seeing that, I probably still need to get a another beast. Come on. Is that... That's barely enough to touch. Let's do a range on this one. Okay, that, that's much better, that's much better. Just a Jiro Falcon, and now let's get... 24 out of 24. And take a look at the range now. It's still missing a little bit of the top right corner. I probably can get one more beast after her, but I think I'm okay for now. It doesn't need to have, like, global range everywhere. Two seconds later. I lied. I decided to go for that. So now we actually have full map range. We'll just upgrade this one to Golden Eagle. And there it is. 24 out of 24. I want to see how, how good this thing is now. I think if you truly want to maximize the damage potential of the Eagle, what you want to do is... Uh, you still want to keep the reticle, like, up in front. Especially for mobs like that. You don't want to keep it like that. Otherwise, I don't think it'll knock back stuff. Like, I don't mind if it has a, a slow travel time or a quick travel time. You see there? Just picking it up and dropping it off in, like, half a second. That's not a big deal. But when it comes to it, like, going all the way across track to move one set of balloons, not very good. We're losing a lot of damage on that case, in that case. So, if I had to wager right now, I'm pretty sure that we've only spent 10k on the Max Golden Eagle and... It seems to be carrying through the 50s, like, just fine. I know Quincy's kind of attacking, but... That knockback, though, and here's what I mean. If balloons get too far... Just change the reticle to be maybe just slightly... Behind... Where the first balloon is. Well, I'm liking the damage. Like, look, look at the amount of ticks it's doing from uh, the Saram wave there. I think I did, like, 500 in one. Not to mention, I could just pick up all the Sarams under a Moab. Piece of cake. The only problem is, again, it doesn't pick up BFBs, but that's where we have Quincy to just break down the lair, and I'm pretty sure that's all we need. How much can the Golden Eagle pick up at once? How many Moabs? I don't quite remember. Three out of uh, four. That's still pretty good. I think in this case, we'll, we'll make it travel a far distance, because Moabs are really slow moving and easy. It's still early, but so far, I'm pretty impressed. It helps us clump Moabs too, which makes it... which may, means, like, AoE stuff is uh, good like paired with a beast it seems let me just go ahead and get a jungle drums see if that's enough yep that's much better allows quincy to do a bit more damage too and now i'm very curious about 63 can i just pick up all this rams i should put it in strong right oh my god that's insane like not only does it knock it back but i'm pretty sure it just like it does so many layers to this rams 
And now last wave. Yup, look at that. It just picked up a group of 20 and deleted it into one swipe. <laughs> Unfortunately, once we get to like multiple mob territory, it starts getting really, really annoying. So we should probably spend our 30k on something. How about, I guess, a bats? This loses the global range, but trust me, I think it's worth it. Even though, oh, okay, okay that's actually a lot of range lost. It's okay, though. The 0 2 earlier wasn't really doing much. This basically cleans up anything that leaks. Yep. I think it's a fine choice, and we just leave the Golden Eagle up there. I know I can just get the Condor, but I want to ride with this thing longer to see, well, just how much it can do, even in the 60s and 70s. Plus, this will give us a good idea of how much we're capable of saving up. 75 is a tough round, but again, if I just put Quincy in strong, let the bads, like, deal with everything else, which it should, right? If not, I just have Quincy's arrows, which... Uh, I don't want to use it because 76 exists. So I suppose I'll just do a little bit of micro with the beast then. Again, just do a little bit knock back to... For more damage rather than... You know, knocking back. Carrying back two Moabs. That's not very efficient, is it? So here it is. A lot of Moabs. And... Uh, I shouldn't have done that because again, 76. But that's okay. I took a risk and it paid off. With about 45k saved up. Through 79, I'd say it's pretty solid. I'm impressed by the Golden Eagle. I wouldn't say... I'm not sure I'd go ahead and say S tier. But it is very good now. At least when maxed. And I approve Condor when? Probably after round 80. Now we're getting to ZMG territory. So we really need some knockback. Actually, this round, yeah. There's like no damage there. I know Condor doesn't knock back the ZMG. But it will help for beefies. As long as we pop the mobile layer here... Uh, Condor should uh, pretty much carry everything back, right? Let's see, here we go. Uh, wait, why is it not... It's not doing anything to... Hang on. The two BFP is here. And we're gonna die because of it. Okay, well, if I plan to go for Polkai later, I'll just get the... Uh, all, all the four Condors required, so... Uh, I get a higher power in this one. 64 to 64. Let's see how it does now. The biggest problem is that, as you see, it doesn't do any damage at all. ZMG is. Polokai does allow it to do damage to like non-bads. Unfortunately, the lower tiers don't do that. Pretty disappointing. I'll just change the... I'll set the reticle a little bit up here then. Come on, knocking back a bunch of balloons. And that'll do. Alright, are we winning, son? Uh, I'm still seeing... Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Okay. Okay, I just realized my condo wasn't strong. That's probably why I was struggling. But that doesn't make sense because on round 80... They were still, there were still BFBs in the front. And Strong would prioritize those, because it does, if it's the same tier, then it would be first, but whatever. Our problem should be a lot better now. Actually, I'm still kind of worried, so let me go for a, a Moab Glue 2. Relentless is always solid. It's lacking a bit of range, though, so primary training. And that's much better. And now Quincy should be eating good, because we are kind of unintentionally uh, helping him get a, a lot of pops here with the Glue. And the Eagle knockback, come on. I'm gonna change the reticle here now. To maximize counter damage, because I guess it's okay. Okay, now for ZMG's here. It appears like it's, okay, it, it's doing the thing. It's actually blowing it back this time. I think we could probably save straight for Polkai now, and... Uh, I'm not sure if that's GG, because I think they did nerf it. Compared to what it was on release. I remember it being really, really good at... Well, pretty much doing auto win. I don't know if that's quite the case anymore, but... We will see. We'll have lots of money left over for those... Last 10 rounds here. Four ZMGs here should be interesting. Or actually not, because again, Condor coming in clutch. Picks up, I think, I think two BFBs at a time here. Sure, I'll use Quincy ability on first. And okay, Radical back up here. Crap, crap, crap. Probably dead. Oh. Not if Condor has anything to say about that. Okay, we're, we're good still. We're good. We're good. Condor, unfortunately, does not pick up DDTs. And I don't have money. Bruh. Do we really have to spend money in MIB here? I guess we do. This does allow Quincy to now be able to damage DTs and the glue to hit camo. And also, yes, Condor to knock it back, of course, of course. Because uh, normally, yeah, this thing can't pop leads. Only I saved 1k, then I wouldn't, I could have saved like so much money. Oh well. Let's just hope that mistake doesn't kill me. So if I don't spend anything else, 94 is when I can afford it. 92 is going to be really annoying because there's so much ZMG is. Come on. No, I'm dead this round. I'm dead. So many ZMGs. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this here, but here we go again. Let's just focus on full damage on the Condor. It is definitely performing better when we don't have to 
move it back, but still lacking damage, bruh. I hate to keep spending money, but maybe more press is the last thing I get while we're still struggling at, you know, ZMG is... Hawkai would literally solve all those problems because it could just, you know, move move them all to start, and that's all there is to it. So now if we end up getting the Polokai, then the more press is kind of redundant, but oh well. As I say, you, never, you can never go wrong with more and more stalls. So here we go, just keep it in the right position. Quincy arrows now, come on. Don't focus on knockback, just damage, damage, damage. Ugh. Okay, so just focus on damage here. Maybe I'll use a Quincy arrows earlier. Sure. We'll see if that does anything for us. Bunch of mobs left, and I think we got this. Yep. This is the run. Unfortunately, we still don't have money for Polkai. We're actually $1,000 off. This is infuriating. I swear to God, if I have to spend more money to beat this round, I will not be a happy camper. Well, luckily for me, I don't even camp. Come on. 100, 200 more dollars. And we got it. Or are we going to die before then? $100. All right. This time I got it early for whatever reason. And we win, right? Yep. Oh my god, that's so much easier. Because the thing is, the Polkai, like, when it pops stuff while curing it, it only leaves one child behind. So that just means a lot less crap to clean up. Unfortunately, uh, this round, it's still, we still need to do the micro thingy. Make sure it's not carrying all the way back to the front. And make it do DPS. Nice. And I think now if we do proper micro here, this will truly be an auto win. Let's just see for 98 here. Polokai is still as good as ever, right? Definitely, definitely. Like, you can just feel the rounds are so much less dense because Polokai's, well, popping everything. Yup. 98 clear. How about 99? Also solid. Now we have to see if there's enough DPS for 100. How much will I do per swipe? About 100 or so. I guess I can, in the meantime, work on the max merge. We need 132, right? Yeah, right now it's only at 100. Well, I'm out of money, so 116 it is. Let's hope it's enough. Long range should be a long enough track that it should be enough, but... Damn, this was... For an advanced map, I think if this, if this was actually in B6, it would be categorized as one of the harder advanced maps, let's just say. Although maybe that's just because of the strategy I was doing. Who knows? Let me know what you think of this, this strategy. Is it good? Or do you think it needs to work? I think it was solid, but... I think I've had easier runs out there with better towers. Always fun to see some nice beast action. But that is all for now. Click here for more, and see you later.